Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to night three. God bless you all. Thank you for jumping on tonight. I'm looking forward to what it is that the Spirit of God is going to do. We have been, I uh, apologize, I had to restart the broadcast because we had a little bit of background activity. Hallelujah. But I am excited about what it is that the Spirit of God is going to do tonight. Whew, the last two nights have been powerful. <laughs> they have been powerful. Glory to God. So I believe that tonight is going to just be even more glorious because the word of the Lord says that we go from glory to glory. So I believe that we are stepping into tonight. Yes, I'm back. PJ, God bless you. So here is it. I love that name. Hey, Jordan. Jordan had a testimony recently. God is moving in her life in mighty financial breakthrough. And we are excited about that. Glory to God. <clears throat> Welcome, welcome. Hello from New Zealand. God bless you. Mikura, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all go ahead and begin to share the broadcast tonight as you jump on. I know Prophetess will probably be here shortly and we can add her on. Glory to God. There she goes. Hallelujah. We're not going to waste time. We're going to jump right in. Uh, hallelujah. We are grateful for what it is that God has done these lots tonight. Hallelujah. Prophetess, if you can just request to join, I will bring you on while I'm doing the preliminaries. Uh, glory to God. I want you to type out tonight as you jump on. Tonight is my night of resurrection. Glory to God. Yes, that's awesome, Jordan. Tonight is my night of resurrection. Welcome, everybody. Begin to share this broadcast <clears throat> as you jump on. It is going to be X. Explosive tonight. The word of the Lord says uh, in the book of Matthew, if really in every single gospel, it's talking about the resurrection of Jesus. But then it says that on the third day, one of their one of the accounts say that on the third day, hey to Darren, God bless you. On the third day, that day that the angel came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. Brobo shaka Everybody type out tonight roll away the stone we call for resurrection power in the name of jesus i prophesy that as we jump on tonight every promise that has died prematurely i command it right now to resurrect in the mighty name of jesus i think i see prophetess already requested to join hallelujah glory to god Y'all, can you all begin to go out and share this broadcast as you jump on? Share it to all the pages that you are a part of. Share it to all the groups that you are a part of. We are going to have a powerful time tonight. Good evening, beautiful woman of God. We are excited that you are present with us tonight. Hallelujah. And we're going to take a moment and just make sure people start sharing sharing people are just jumping on but i wanted to make sure at least we have you on first <laughs> so that that way we didn't have to cut in you know in the middle of that and try to switch to a different device which we had to do last night apart to jojo he couldn't uh click on the little button he wasn't showing up on his screen so we had to do a plan b so can you just say something let's make sure we can hear you clearly i'm in the house perfect in the house. that's awesome all right just give me a second to get everybody on very very quickly y'all go ahead and begin to share this broadcast and if you can just begin to pray in the holy ghost right now the word of the Lord says that, have you all enjoyed the last couple of nights? My God, my life has been transformed. The word of the Lord says that on the third day, they were all together in one place. <clears throat> Excuse me. And suddenly there was a sound, a sound like a rushing mighty wind. Tonight, can we just even before we do anything, as we are sharing the broadcast this evening, can we just begin to welcome the Spirit of God? I welcome the breaker anointing tonight. Shaka, I declare that curses are going to break. The word of the Lord says that Christ has redeemed us. 
from the curse of the law becoming a curse for us for it is written curse is everyone that hanging upon a tree that the blessing of abraham might come upon us i release tonight the blessing of the lord that make it rich and add that no sorrow with it to begin to rest upon this broadcast tonight immediately in the powerful name of jesus Rabba Janda who I feel the presence of yeah. God. Can everybody just, before we even get into the word tonight, just start off something to worship, worship my king. He, he is what this is all about. God, I love you with every fiber of my being. Y'all can just continue to share it as we're worshiping tonight. God, we work, we love you with every fiber of our being. Manda rima shi karibu God, there is no one like you. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the God of Gods. There is no one like you, God, in the presence of, of a generation tonight. God, I just want to say to you, God, that with every fiber of my being, I love you. With every fiber of my being, I love you. Come on guys just for a few minutes let's just focus our gaze on him tonight ha, he is the burden breaker he is the resurrector god we worship you god i worship you you are the king of glory you are jehovah jireh you are jehovah shama you are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are Jehovah Sikenu. Rabot Shokarabasata. Heaven and earth bows down to you. Heaven and earth bows down to you. Heaven and earth bows down to you. God, tonight we want breakthrough. But more than more than that, God, we want to. I'm so hungry, guys, tonight. More than that, I want to encounter the breaker, God. God, I want an encounter with you tonight, Father, because you're the main event. God, would you come? So many are tired. God, would you come? So many are weary. God, would you come? So many are burdened. God, tonight, would you come and just release your presence? Oh, you are so holy. Let's just tell him he's holy. Let's tell him he's holy. Oh, you are so holy, God. You are so holy. You are beautiful beyond description. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, somebody just type out in the comments who he is to you. He is the air I breathe. He is my sound mind. He is my best friend. He is my husband. I feel this power tonight, brothers. I feel the power of the Lord. Jesus. I feel the power of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. I feel the power of the Lord. I feel the power of the Lord tonight. I feel the, I feel the glory of the Lord beginning to fill the room tonight. Come on, guys, just for one more minute, please. Let's this is love of my best friend, Jesus. For one more minute. God we love you. God, we love you. God, we love you. With every fiber of our being, we love you tonight. We love you tonight. Hallelujah. Right now, I want everybody, we're about to get in. The glory of the Lord is already thickening. It's almost like the spring even looks blurry to me, but I know it's not. The network is the cloud of the glory of the Lord that is beginning to feel. I feel him. Oh, God. Oh, I feel him in the room. I feel him in the room. I feel him in the room. Jesus. 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 I feel him in the room. Jesus. 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 I'm just looking to make sure. Am I on the right page tonight? Oh, I'm on the wrong page. I might be on the wrong page. I'm on the right page. I don't know why I can't find myself to share it. I'm sorry. 
I'm a little bit drunk, guys, so I am not responsible <laughs> for what I say right now. <laughs> I looked and I couldn't find myself, but Facebook has this whole thing, you know, shifted, but it's all good. But I just want everybody right now, I want to release the woman of God. I'm not going to take too much time. I just have to love on my, my beloved for a second. Is that okay? Is that okay? His presence is so sweet in this place. And so I know tonight, without the shadow of a doubt, you are going to receive your breakthrough. So all 61 of us right now, you can share it at least three places. Glory to God. Share it. Hey, Andrew, God bless you. Hallelujah. By the way, thank you all so much. Um, this is the, 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 I can see the, 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 the extent to which you have sold into the words that have been coming forth and I just want to speak a blessing over you all, over all that I've been sowing. Um, I declare a billion fold harvest over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Several of you sold hugely last night. And we're going to take that to do what it is the Lord has called us to do. So I just want to speak a blessing over you. And right now, before I turn the one of God loose, I want you all to go ahead and uh, share this broadcast. Glory to God. I'm trying to see who all has shared it. I just want so that when she comes in and starts speaking, she can go right in. Glory to God. I just want to see who I see where it looks like seven people have shared. I may not be looking at it right. Glory to God. But I want every single person, all 70 of us. Now, on night one, y'all, we had over 200 watching. I'm expecting over 500 at one time tonight. I see we're at 44 shares so far. If every single, like I, oh, like I said the first night, I said last night, I said to, to reap breakthrough, you have to sow breakthrough. And a very easy way to sow breakthrough tonight is to share this broadcast. Bless somebody. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. If you're believing break for breakthrough and you get the word out, it's going to accelerate your breakthrough because that ability to share the word, it's a seed that God honors. Hallelujah. So everybody right now, see where 49 of you have shared it. Glory to God. Everybody share it. 53 of you have shared it. All 71 of you share it and type out share. Glory to God. Just give it about one more minute. I know the woman of God is ready to go. Hallelujah. <laughs> but just give it one more minute, woman of God. I want them to get the word out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 56 of you have shared it. Every single person who wants you right now. That's right, Dorita. I always love how you say that. Sharing is caring. Hallelujah. I'm just going to take one more minute. Give you a moment. Share it to all the pages you are part of. That will allow you. <laughs> Some pages will block you if you do that. We don't want you blocked. Uh, share it to all the groups that you are a part of. Hallelujah. That will allow for you to do that. Glory to God. Share, share, share the broadcast as you jump on tonight. Hallelujah. I am ready to rock and roll. Glory to God. And um, yeah, several of you are sharing. Julia has shared it tonight. Glory to God. If I didn't call your name, sorry. Is that a, is that a Benin person? That's, a, <laughs> that's a Nigeria. Carol, God bless you. Thank you for sharing. God bless you. Egbe for sharing the broadcast. God bless you all for sharing the broadcast tonight. Tyreka, thank you for sharing the broadcast. Rose, thank you for sharing the broadcast. Love you. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Prophetess, you know, Rose is my biological sister, the one I was telling you about. I had a dream. Rose had a dream off of a sound check. Anyway, that's a story for another day. We were doing a sound check and she had a dream about Prophetess and it was so powerful. Impartation dream. Hallelujah. So really quickly, I want to introduce the woman of God and I'm going to just turn her loose, take as long as you need, preach as hard as you usually do. Hallelujah. I am excited. Looking forward to feast. Uh, I just thank God for your life and I thank God for, um, uh, you You know how the apostle, they have Paul says, he says, I never cease to give thanks uh, for you. I just really thank God uh, for you. Your type of person is hard to find. It's hard to find. Um, um, I, I'm just going to be a little bit raw tonight. I hope y'all can handle it. Uh, in, when you are in ministry long enough, you see a lot of things. And, uh, and, and there's so many amazing ministers, but uh, sometimes they're just, they're, they're, sometimes our humanity, you know, shows in the process. And sometimes there's issues like competition and things like that. But Providence Yolanda Perry um, has just championed me um, just in a way that I can never thank you enough. Like if I wrote you a $120,000 check, I cannot thank you enough. 
It means the world. Your ministry can be a very lonely journey sometimes. I'm talking, you can have millions and billions of followers, but ministry can be lonely because there's sometimes you can feel just different things in the air and you don't sometimes even know who to trust. And she is one that I can trust. I know I can tell you all kinds of things about the greatness in her because she is great. But I just want to tell you, this is my friend. And it means the world to me. So thank you, prophet of God. Thank you for championing me. I was telling Apostle Andrew today, I said, when I took the step to move out of my nine to five, to move to ready, fear is not the word. I was terrified because I didn't know if God was going to show up as I walked on water. But you were standing there the whole time saying, come on, girl, you can walk. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. She's a rare breed. I'm telling you, it's rare. Thank you. And obviously, other people have supported along the way, but, 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 but you have just come alongside me and just lifted my arms like no one else. That's just the truth. Thank you so much. All right. Before I get you crying, you got to preach. So I gotta... <laughs> have at it, woman of God. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this isn't how this is supposed to start off. I know. But let me tell you something. Well, we have to understand is that when the Bible says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, God expects us to embrace that in every form. When the Bible tells us that we are to rejoice with those who rejoice, he means that in every letter of the word. Even in this financial breakthrough challenge, many are going to break through. Some are going to miss it. Sadly enough, I have to say, some are going to miss it because they don't understand the concepts of the kingdom of God. When God places people in our path, we never fully understand what it's about. But we're not supposed to because the Bible tells us that um, his thoughts are not our thoughts, his ways are not our ways, they're higher than we can even imagine. And sometimes when people come across our path, and this seems like it has nothing to do with the message, but it has everything to do with what God's going to do. I want you to catch everything that's going to happen here tonight. I could not be where I am if you did not come cross, across my path. I would not be where I am if God didn't drop you in the middle of my world. <laughs> we, we talked about it probably within the last two weeks or one of our prayer times. I remembered God showing me us in 2017, I believe it was. Mm -hmm showed me us sitting in that booth in the restaurant. At the Golden Corral. <laughs> Golden Corral, our place. <laughs> I can't do much with Golden Corral these days. Right. <laughs> I gotta stay on track. <laughs> but I remembered us sitting in that booth. Mm. And I remembered us unintentionally dreaming together. 
We were not friends as we are now. We were mm -hmm. connecting, but we were not friends as we are now. We did not see what God was going to do in each of our lives. But mm -hmm. I remembered recalling that a couple of weeks ago. It was only months earlier mm -hmm. that when I was getting ready to enter life altering circumstances Jesus. concerning my job, mm. you were a person that I barely even knew. Mm. That you were one of three, only three, mm. and everybody in my world, you were one of three mm. that God said to me in that moment when everything was about to change to reach out to you to pray. And at that time, what looked like such, what it was such an uncertainty, what looked like was going to be a drawback because I didn't understand what God was doing and I certainly didn't know what God was going to do. But in that time, I remembered just pondering why God would bring you into my world at that time. People of God, when you're getting, as you're getting ready for financial breakthrough, mm -hmm. know who you're supposed to be attached to. That's it. Be very clear about who is supposed to be in your world. Yes. Be very clear about who's supposed to surround you. Yes. I'm in a season, I mean, I entered a season where people were moving out. And sometimes mm. that can be, and I think we alluded to that the other night, sometimes that can be very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, if you're not in the will of God as far as this is concerned, you will miss what God is doing. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you won't have capacity for who is supposed to be in your world. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. Everybody that you ask to pray for you is not really praying for you. No. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> you don't want every, just anybody praying for you. Yes, ma'am. People would get upset with me when they would ask me to pray mm -hmm. and I would tell them, no, I'm sorry, I can't commit to that. They think that th people take that, people think that's wrong. No, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. I know I'm not gonna remember to pray, I'm not gonna commit to. I want, I want to make sure you go and find who is supposed to be praying for you in this season. It's mm -hmm. not me being mean. Mm -hmm. I am very intentional about any si assignment of intercession God gives me. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not just going to say, yes, praying for you. They're lying half of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're lying. That's true. But when God told me to have you pray in that mm -hmm. very pivotal moment, mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was stepping into. Mm -hmm. And people have got listen when you listen to God because I didn't do it automatically. It took me a minute. I was like, I don't even know her. <laughs> I don't even know her. I'm not mm. just gonna go, just go and ask her to pray for me because I don't let just anybody come to me and make me their intercessor. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit would not release me. We're going somewhere tonight. Stick with me. We're going yes. somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I remember that day. I feel like this is the day to tell the story. Yes, ma'am. Tell it. I left home, still would not. I wasn't, wasn't walking in aggressive obedience, I guess, then, because <laughs> I was like, God, I just can't. I'm, I'm just not going to send her a message. Mm. I don't know her. I haven't talked to her. As a matter of fact, we didn't even, I don't think we had any message exchange between us. No. Nope. There was no message. There was no history of us even having a conversation in Messenger. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I sent the message to you and told you that God was telling me he, I was going into full-time ministry. 
church and that I was not going to get to go back to my job that mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know how that was going to work out when I had my baby girl was a pre-med student. Hmm. I'm responsible for paying her tuition because I am not receiving any, any support at this time from my former husband. Hmm. I was the breadwinner of the household. I had to take care of everything. Hmm. So I didn't know how God was going to make that work out. So he had me to invite you to pray about this thing. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what that was going to lead to. When I approached you, <laughs> ironically, your response to me immediately was, hi, Prophet Yolanda. I just had a dream about you three weeks ago. <laughs> wow. I was wondering the right time to share it. The short of it is she shared with me in that dream that she and I were having a discussion about purpose and destiny. And in that dream, I said to her, I said, Agnes, I believe I'm about to be discovered. I'm about to be discovered. Two days earlier, a mentor of mine had just prophesied to me. And she said to me on that call, she said, I don't know. I feel like you're about to be discovered. Jesus. And then two days later, Prophetess Agnes shared with me a dream she had three weeks earlier that I said to her in the dream, I'm about to be discovered. <laughs> Jesus. I had no idea that months later I would end up laying in ICU unconscious for five days. Mm. Unconscious for five whole days. I won't go into all of that story. I shared it. As a matter of fact, I premiered the video where I told the entire testimony in Double For Your Troubles mm -hmm. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I ended up God says I'm about to be discovered and all of a sudden it looks like I'm down under. <laughs> Preach. Here I am laid up in ICU, breathing tube, feeding tube, every other kind of tube you can think of to keep me alive. And my children were hearing, we don't have anything else we can do. They were preparing my children for me to leave this world. Jesus. But that was not the end of the story because when you have the right people attached to you, hmm. they'll pick you up in the spirit. They'll be able to carry you even when you cannot say a word because God connects you in the hmm. realm of the spirit and they're carrying you even when you, it didn't matter what happened months earlier because God already had prophetess Agnes praying since March. So what was taking place in July did not even matter. The plan of God was going to be fulfilled in my life. Jesus, thank you. I woke up five days later, and I knew that God was going to do something mighty. I just didn't know how it was going to happen with the level of recovery I had to have. Wow. But it was only two plus months later that I finished a project, a book project, that I knew I had to. All I knew was I had to be done. It was in my calendar that I was gonna finish writing this book by October 1st of 2017. I didn't know why I had to get it done, but I had to get it done. It was a part of my financial breakthrough. And I didn't even know it. Wow. But I finished that project. And a month and a half later, I published that book. Wow. It was that book that began to launch me into the nations. Wow. 
It was that book that began to break poverty off of my life. Jesus. It was that book that when my job fired me only two months after I wrote it, it was that book that became the idea for a mentorship program mm. that in the first session there were 50 students and now has taken in almost 100 mentees in that program. It was that book that caused me when I would sit down and, and just begin to present the things that I had to offer that I could sit down and in 30 minutes earn a month's income that I used to earn on the job that fired me. Jesus. You know, sometimes when you're in the worst place in your life, it would seem like just quit. Come on. It would seem like just run. But I'm here to tell you that it doesn't matter what it looks like in your life. God's plan for you is going to play out exactly as he mapped it out for you. Yes, God. You don't know what it is yet, but God is very clear about what he's going to do in your life. Yes, Lord. I'm going to minister to you tonight from the book of Genesis, chapter 26. And if you haven't already, I want you to go ahead, as Prophetess Agnes has been asking, share the broadcast. I've noticed a little bit of, um, it seems like the connection is trying to click in and out or whatever, but bear with us tonight. God's go going somewhere. We're going to push back at the enemy tonight. We're going to believe God that we're going to get the fullness of his word tonight. Amen. We're going to believe God that we're going to get breakthrough tonight. Amen. We're going to believe God that we will not leave this challenge without experiencing financial breakthrough tonight. Amen. This was an assignment from heaven. Mm -hmm. One of the things I abhor the most is poverty, the mentality of poverty. The spirit of poverty that I've seen on the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. I hate to hear a Christian say, uh, next payday. The devil mm -hmm. is a liar. Yes. God has right now financial breakthrough for you. Mm -hmm. May your words never be, I don't have enough, but I have more than enough. I call it my experience of so much was happening at once. I would, t I would take my, my laptop and just slam it down because I couldn't take what was coming in. Mm. That's what I believe that God's going to do in your life. Mm. As we look at Genesis chapter 26, I'm going to read a little bit from a couple of versions. I'm going to start off, I don't know, I just found the Jubilee version of the Bible and, and it's just been blessing me. So I'm going to start off reading in the Jubilee version of the Bible. Would you pray in the spirit with me for a moment? Rakataya la 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 Rekete mandi Father, we thank you tonight 
Father, we bless you tonight. Yes, Lord. Father, we honor you tonight. Yes, Lord. We thank you for all that you are. Yes. We thank you for all that you have planned for us. Yes. We thank you for all that you're going to do. Yes. We thank you for all that you're going to release tonight. Yes. Yes. Father, tonight I pray over each of these people, everyone that is watching live, yes. everyone that will come through as a replay viewer. Yes. Father, I just ask you tonight, yes. meet us right where we are. Yes. Meet us right in the middle of our circumstances, Father. Yes. Father, I ask you for a rapid turnaround yes. in financial conditions, Father. Yes. Father, I ask you for supernatural breakthrough tonight. Yes, I ask you, Father, to pour into your people tonight, Father, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father, I ask you right now for suddenly breakthroughs, Father. I see negative bank accounts going into the overflow. I thank you for overflow in bank accounts father i thank you for suddenly announcements that money is coming i thank you for suddenly checks coming in the mailbox father in the name of jesus father i thank you right now for sudden breakthrough Randi Akoshete, I thank you, Arabako Oko Rababa, Reke. I see houses and lands being released in the name of Jesus. I, I was trying to say prophetic for at the end of the broadcast, but let me tell you something. I see some things being released in the realm of the spirit. Andi Arabako Shete de Andi Akoreke. I see storehouses being filled in the name of Jesus. Oko Shandi Araba. I see investments multiplying and increasing exponentially in the name of Jesus. I see Arabakoshete. I see strategies for investing in the name of Jesus. I see real estate investments. I see property values increasing even beyond what the market is doing right now. Double in the name of Jesus. Oh, I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Oko shandi arabako reke rakata randi arabako shete randi arabako shete. Let me read the word of God. I'm gonna minister some more, but let me read the word of God and get this out. Atabako shete ba. I want to encourage somebody tonight. This is gonna encourage you. Andi arabako shete ya. Listen, Genesis chapter 26 in the Jubilee version reads like this. It says, and there was a famine in the land. Yes. And there was a famine in the land. Yes. In addition to this first famine, in addition yes. to the first famine, so they had to go through some things. My God. It wasn't a one-time thing. Some of you are worried about the situation going on and on. Some of you are worried about you've been living like this for five years, 10 years, 20 years. All some of you actually need to do is just break the generational curse off of your family line, and that's going to settle it. But I'm going to tell you right now, don't worry about things happening over and over like a cycle. Because in addition to the first famine that was in the days of Abraham, and Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. Verse number two. And the Lord appeared unto him and said to him, Do not go down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Verse number three. Abide in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these lands. And I will confirm the oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father. 
So here we get the announcement that there was a famine, one of many famines, in a I'm breaking because we're freezing a little bit. Andi araba, I'm just giving it a minute. Ataba koshete di andi araba ya. O koshande, looks like we're clear. I'm watching another screen to see. Cause we're gonna we gonna get this word tonight. The devil is a whole big liar. We gonna get this word tonight. Here we have Isaac. There's a famine in the land. God has made a promise to Abraham. And even though there's a famine, God is telling him, don't go to where the famine is not. God tells him to dwell where he tells him to dwell. I'm going to tell you right now, don't run from the hills. Don't run for the hills. Don't run because God has something planned that you cannot yet see. He told Isaac to dwell there abide in the land and he began to tell him what to expect and he told them that not even is this going to just be for you but this is also going to be for your seed your children and your children's children <clears throat> and he began to promise him that he was going to give him lands i was just talking a moment ago about how i see houses and lands being released to people and he said he's going to confirm the oath. God is going to prove himself and he's going to show himself strong and mighty concerning his promises. And he goes on to say in verse four, and I will make thy seed multiply as the stars of heaven and will give unto thy seed all these lands god is not only promising to bless isaac but he's promising to give him an inheritance that he'll pass down to generations so if you are in the position that you're not walking in the fullness of the blessings that god has shown you you need to understand that you need to be in position because what's coming to you is not just coming to you. It's going to go beyond your lifetime. It's going to be passed down to generations. You have been bound by the generational curses long enough. And what God wants you to understand that there's getting ready to be a mighty release of generational blessings. You get to be the one to break past the the curses that you knew in your bloodline and you get to reverse this thing and turn this thing into the blessing that God had already promised all along. He sa it says, and in thy seed shall be all the Gentiles of the earth be blessed. Everything and everybody attached to you is going to be blessed. That's why we got to be careful about our attachments because everything attached to us is going to be blessed. Our children, our children's children, the friends that God's going to bring into our lives, the loved ones. Some of you haven't even married into your greatest blessings yet. Some of you haven't even come into the family that you belong to yet. But God's getting ready to do it. All the Gentiles of the earth be blessed. Verse number five, because Abraham, listen carefully, because there's a prerequisite. Because Abraham hearkened unto my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. 
do you realize that you're literally getting ready to reap a harvest that you didn't even earn? Mm. You're getting ready to reap a harvest based upon what our forefathers did. Some of you have beat yourself up because you haven't done right. But God is such a forgiving God. And God is a mercy, a God of mercy. His mercies are brand new every single morning. You haven't done anything that disqualifies you from the oath he made with Abraham. He swore to him that he's going to bless his seed. He swore to him that lands would come to him. And God is not changing his mind and he's not taking it back. It's just a matter of, are you ready to step into the financial breakthrough that God has for you? Just like Jesus paid the price back even before there was Jesus, Abraham had already walked up right before God and made the provision for us to receive the blessings that God promised. Verse number six, it says, therefore, Isaac dwelt in Gerar, where God told him to. In the message version, I love how it says that verse. It says, Isaac stayed put. Mm. Isaac stayed put. Isaac was not moved by the fact there was a famine in the land. He didn't consider, even consider for a moment that his family might starve if he stayed there. I love the scripture that says, that, that Jesus says, my food is to do the will of my father. Because see, if we're moved by how things look and seem in the natural, we'll move outside of the will of God. We'll think surely we shouldn't have to go through this. Surely we shouldn't be struggling like this. Surely I should have broken through by now. But Isaac didn't have to go through one famine. It says this was just the first one. Hmm. But when God told him where to go and stay, it says Isaac stayed put in Gerar. I'm going to skip a few verses that talks about how he didn't say this wasn't his wife and Abimelech almost messed with Rebecca. I won't go through all of that. I want to drop down because Isaac did something so powerful. In the middle of a famine, in the middle of not having anything, in the middle of hard times, <laughs> In the middle of having nothing, essentially. In verse number 12, it says, Then Isaac sold in that land. Then Isaac sold in that land. What land? The same land of famine. He sold in the middle of a famine. He didn't wait till it got good. He didn't wait until things got better. It said Isaac sold in that land. He didn't wait until God brought him to the land of promise. Then Isaac sold in that land. What did he do when he sold in that land? He showed God that he trusted him. He showed God that he believed him. He showed God that he would honor his word, that he could walk in obedience even as Abraham did. He moved. 
moved God by staying put. We can't be so quick to go after the next big, big thing if that isn't what God is saying in that season. Some seasons you're going to have to walk through blindly not knowing what God is doing. When God said that I was not going to return to my job, I had no idea how that was going to play out. When I was on medical leave, not knowing what the next move was going to be, I didn't consider these scriptures. All I knew what God was doing. You were in that service with me that night, Agnes. I remembered Apostle John Eckhart was there mm -hmm. preaching. And he was preaching, So I think he might have been preaching Deuteronomy 1, 11 or something like that. But he was talking about the thousands. And I remembered in the middle of getting fired from my job, I'm hearing the Lord say, so a thousand dollars. True story. And I didn't have $10 in my bank account. Come on. <laughs> Been there. I didn't have any sick leave to draw from. Mm -hmm. But I heard God say, so $1,000. Mm -hmm. So here I was, and I'm not telling anybody to do this crazy stuff that God had me do. I pulled out my phone and I sold $1,000 on my credit card not even knowing how I was going to take care of it. But I will tell you, did I did not, not mention how I sat down and paid off over $16,000 worth of credit card debt in one setting. I didn't even consider it. All I knew was I might be in a famine. But what I know is how to access the one who knows how to bring me out of it. And in the middle of that time, God began to take me on a journey of crazy faith and trusting him in a way that I've never had to rely on and trust him before. Because I didn't know how I was going to take care of my family. I didn't know how I was going to pay my mortgage. I didn't know how I was going to do anything that I needed to do. But I knew that God would be faithful to me if I would walk in obedience to him, if I would blindly walk in obedience to him, it wasn't always that sort of seed. There were other things that God required me to do as well. And I had to trust that I knew what his voice was. And one thing I did, I stayed put. I remember they were trying to pressure me to make a decision concerning my job. They were trying to force me to come back to work even though the doctors had not released me. I stayed put. I trusted God. Fear would have made me go when I knew God was telling me to stay put. But all I knew was that God would be faithful. I knew he promised me greater. And I knew that greater would come. So in the middle of a famine for myself, I, like Isaac, knew what would get the attention of God. Well, I knew because this, isn't my, this was not my first rodeo. <laughs> I remember when I was alone because my former husband had left. I remembered I was always a tither. So I'll start by saying, if that's not in order for you, get that in order first. That wasn't an option. That wasn't optional for me. However, I remembered having a certain amount that I would give into the house of God every single week. And suddenly I had nothing to give.
But Prophetess Agnes, I remembered sitting in my church, weeping with my checkbook in my hand because I had nothing I could give. I remember weeping because I wanted to give. And I would take my checkbook and in the little calendar part of my checkbook, I would say, I said in my heart, I made a vow in my heart. And I said to God, every Sunday when the offering was being taken up, I would say in my heart, tears, this is true story, literally streaming down my face. And I would say in my heart to God, God, if you give it to me, I'll give it back to you. God, if you give it to me, I'll give it back to you. God, if you give it to me, I'll give it back to you. Every Sunday, I don't remember how many Sundays it was, but I remember the day that God blessed me to the tune of over $10,000, just like that. And I had immediately wrote two checks, one times, and two, I had now promised God to give back to him. It had added up to $750. Gave it just like that. Jesus. In the middle of a famine, I didn't know how we would survive the next few months. A lot happened in between because that was money I believed God for vacation, actually. Because I told my sister I need about $10,000. And in three days, I had $10,000, over $10,000. I learned how to stay put. And I learned the language of God, what moves him. And even though that's not the only thing that moves him, I knew that that moved him. Isaac sold in that land in the middle of a famine. And it said he received in the same year 100 fold. 100 fold in the same year he reaped his harvest from what he sold. And it says, and the Lord blessed him. In the message version, I like it in this version. It says, Isaac planted in that land and took in a huge harvest. God blessed him. The man got richer and richer by the day until he was very wealthy. He accumulated flocks and herds and many, many servants. Let me tell you, when I first read that version, I said, he sowed and got a huge harvest. And he got richer and richer. This is how I talk to God. I said, you said he got richer and richer by the day? until he was very wealthy. Y'all, let me tell you how it started for me a few years ago. I began to say, I said, if he got richer and richer by the day, God, that means he had money coming in every day. Wow. I want money coming to me every day, God. Yes. Can you make money come to me every day can i tell you that every day money comes to me every day every day money comes to me god is not a respecter of persons it was so one time prophetess agnes that it was about 10 o'clock at night. I said, wait a minute, it's a true story. I said, wait a minute, no money.
nobody came in yet today. When you step into financial breakthrough, when you step into a place with God, that you know that you're doing all that you know you need to do, you get to command and demand certain things of God. I preached a message about Rahab and how Rahab, when she hid the spies, Rahab got with the spies and Rahab said, okay, now when I do this or that now, this is what I need you to do. Now, I, I'm doing right by you. I need you to do right by me. Listen, some, some of you need to learn how to negotiate with God. God's word is already there. And he's already told us to remind him to remember. And I'm rem I reminded him to remember that, that Isaac got, he sold in the famine. And he took in a huge harvest in the same year. And then he got richer and richer by the day until he was very wealthy. So you begin to demand, you get the ability to begin to command your financial breakthrough. When you begin to walk in a level of obedience that's pleasing to God. And I can tell you that sometimes it's a, a walk of uncertainty. But I'm telling you right now, God is a God of increase. God is never going to let you outdo him. He proved that to me. I have begun to give, you know, I, I'm telling you some of the things that God has allowed me to do. And let me be very clear. This is not just about you getting money. This is not just about me getting money. So let me be clear. Lest somebody thinks this is what it's about. This is about us being positioned in the kingdom of God to do what God needs to do in the earth. You are God's hands and feet in the earth. You are a part of God distributing his provision in the earth. If you know anything about me, you will know that money means very little to me in and of itself. I don't even like to go in a store to shop. Hate it with a passion. I just get what I need to get and it just works out. A 20 minute cap in a store. They say shop online. I hate that too. I just don't like shopping, period. <laughs> period. It's overrated as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So lest you think it's just about that. No, I want to be able to be the kingdom financier that I know that I'm called to be. And when that's in perspective, God can trust you with a financial breakthrough. When you know why God is allowing it to funnel through you, then God can begin to trust you with what he wants to get to you. He became richer and richer by the day until he was very wealthy. It said he accumulated flocks and herds and many, many servants, so much so that the Philistines began to envy him. Let me go ahead and prepare you. Everybody is not going to be happy about your financial breakthrough. Everybody is not going to be able to handle your financial breakthrough. That's another level of confidence that you're going to have to be able to walk in. There are many who are going to try to manipulate you 
when you begin to step into your financial breakthrough you're going to have to know when to say yes and when to say no it comes with a whole other set of circumstances that you have to navigate through when you step into financial breakthrough envy is going to come but you're going to be able to walk through it with a measure of grace that you cannot even imagine i am not moved prophetess agnes will be one to tell you i am not moved by what people think of me this is true i am not moved by what people say of me i am not moved by what people think that i should do i've had people get angry with me talk about me criticize me try to make me feel bad get very comfortable with who you are when God brings you into that place. God has a greater for you. You think you know what you want as far as financial breakthrough, but it's so far beyond what you can even comprehend. Now is the time to prepare yourself to live in a different space Tell me right now. i'm telling you right now for some of you your financial breakthrough i'm going into the prophetic now for some of you your financial breakthrough you're not ready for it because it's going to require you to change geographical locations Ooh i know about that <laughs> God's going to uproot some of you because the space of your tent needs to be enlarged. I'm right now in the middle of getting ready to transition from Washington State to Atlanta, Georgia area. But I'm not foolish enough to think that's it. I got a home in another state that God's trying to give to me. <laughs> Your financial breakthrough is going to require you to manage your time in a different way. Some of you have some time management issues and your financial breakthrough is going to come when you're able to get those things in order. Because when you're able to get those things in order, you're going to be able to see what you need to do. Some of you aren't able to produce and create. There's a creative inside many of you, and you're not able to do what you need to do because of time management. God has told you very specific things that is going to cause you to earn money in a way you've never earned it before. But time management is your problem. But today, may the Lord show you how to reclaim your time, how to put things in order. Some of you are busy doing nothing and you think you're doing something. Some of you have opened yourself up and need to raise boundaries in your life with your time. And the reason you can't get to where you need to be is because your time is taken up with things that you should not be doing and with people you shouldn't be spending time with. I know it's a hard word, but it's a now word. Stick with me.
Some of you are in the wrong circle. Some of you have the wrong people around you. You don't have dreamers around you. You have moochers around you. And you've been comfortable there because you are the smartest one. Wrong circle. God is challenging some of you to go into circles, get into circles that makes you uncomfortable because you're the lowest one on the totem pole, but God's going to cause you to grow into it. Some of you are listening to the wrong voices. You're following the wrong voices. And you're missing the voice that God has called to your life to speak into you and to impart into you. And when you get the right voice speaking into you, everything in your life is going to shift. I have always had this mantle on me, but it was when I stepped into the world of my spiritual father, even before he knew I was his daughter, I was getting on airplanes, traveling to different states, even flying to different nations to hear him minister. And I have impartation that you cannot even, that money can't pay for. That money cannot buy. You need to find the voices. Ask God, what voices am I supposed to be listening to in this season? For one season, God had me shut off every other voice. I could listen to three voices for about six months. I couldn't listen to anybody's live broadcast. I couldn't listen to anybody's YouTube. Only three voices I got to listen to for six months. But it changed the trajectory of my life. And it's why I am sitting in the position I'm sitting in today. Find the voice that you're supposed to be following in this season. And I haven't outgrown that. I told you the voice that God told me to draw close to in this season, Prophetess Agnes. And I've been being very intentional, intentional about getting her voice in my spirit as much as I can. And I already begin to see things change even more. May the Lord speak to you whose voice is called to you in this season. Randi ele de 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 a tara da 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 ba ta ya da ba ko shete ya. Randi ele de 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 ba ko shete de de andi a da ba ko. Rakata ya da ba ko shande. Rakata ya da 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 ba ni a da ba ko shete. Randi ele de 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 ba ko rekete ya ta. Rande ki ye de ba ta ya da ba ko shete. Randi ele de de a ta ya da ba ko shandi a da ba ya. Rakata ya da ba ko shete de de andi a da ba ya. I decree and declare that your story is going to change from not enough to more than enough in this season as you step into financial breakthrough. I decree and declare that your cup will be filled to overflowing portions as you rightly align yourself. I decree and declare that you're stepping into a season of that multiplication and exponential increase 
and it's going to hit your house suddenly in the name of Jesus. Andi akurekete. Randi ire bakosha tadaba. Randi ledede bakorekete. I decree and declare that you will move into a season where your enemies will begin to serve you. Andi akurekete bata. Raba bakoshete. The very ones that envied you. Andy and were enemies to you will begin to serve you. Ataba. God will make your enemies your footstool. Ataba koshete. Randi araba koshete. I decree and declare that your status is changing. Andi araba koshete. Andi araba. From borrower to lender. In the name of Jesus. Andi akorekete. That you will lend to nations. Andi akorekete, andi araba koshete yaraba, o koshandi araba koreke, randi araba koshete yaraba, araba koshete. I decree and declare that the people that God is calling to you in this season will find you speedily. Andi araba koshete, rakata, like-minded people will find their way to you. Andi araba. Those who will celebrate you, I decree and declare that you're stepping into a season of being celebrated instead of tolerated. Andi akoshete, andi akoshete yaraba. As you step into your financial breakthrough, you're going to step into a level of esteem that you've never known before. I decree and declare that you're even stepping into a place of greater influence that you're going to attract people of greater influence in jesus name i thank you father may you be able to spot the people that are called to you in this season in the name of jesus Glory to the Most High God. I decree and declare that you will know good soil where to put your seed. I decree and declare that you'll recognize it on sight. I decree and declare that as you sow up, you will go up. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the seed will come to the sower, that those who have a heart to sow, that seed will come to you. I didn't even ask anybody, but I just see people sowing into me right now. I just see seeds just coming in. These are the people who get it. These are the people who knows, akoshete, knows how to move the hand and knows how to move the heart of God. I decree and declare that you never so begrudgingly another day in your life that you will know that God is not trying to take from you, but he's trying to get to something to you. I decree and declare that God will begin to take from the, from the middle of seed time and harvest. That time is going to begin to move out and your seed and harvest will collide. That you will begin to receive sudden harvest in this season. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that your financial breakthrough is upon you now in the name of Jesus. That the wait is over. That there will be no more delay in the name of Jesus. That there will be no more drawback. That there will be no holdback. That God is not a respecter of persons. I decree and declare that the same anointing that rests upon my life, that rests upon the life the life of prophetess Agnes will rest upon your life. I decree and declare that God is not a respecter of persons and the same mantle of wealth that is upon my life that came upon Isaac that is coming upon your life in the name of Jesus. That you will be able to conceive it 
in the name of Jesus. Akoshete, Rapa Bakoshete, Randi Arabako, Rakataya, Rekete Bandi Araba, Rekete. I decree and declare that as the Lord has said it of this year, that the double double is upon you now in the name of Jesus. That the double double is hitting your life now in the name of Jesus. That you will walk in it. That you will flow in it. That you will grow in it. That you will welcome others into it. That as we talk at the top of this broadcast, that you will be attached to the people who are supposed to walk in this with you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that it is upon you now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and I decree and declare that it will happen speedily, suddenly. <laughs> I want to read and pronounce over you my personal breakthrough decree. According to Amos 9 and 13. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree. You better receive it. You better receive it. You better receive it as God's decree, not Yolanda's decree. God's decree. Mm -hmm. Things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. Jesus. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Yes. You won't even be able to keep up. Yes, Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and the hills. God has already decreed it. Now I boldly declare it. Yes, indeed, it will not be long now. Breakthrough is upon you. I can hear it. I can sense it. I can feel it. Things are getting ready to happen so fast, your head will swim. I see this happening in the realm of the spirit. Now it is about to happen in the natural. I decree his will be done. His kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven for you. One breakthrough after another. You will not even be able to fathom what God is doing. One minute, there will be breakthrough in your finances. The next minute, it will be breakthrough in your family. The next minute, breakthrough in your church. Ah, the next minute, breakthrough in your relationships. The next minute, breakthrough in your ministries. Breakthrough in your businesses. Breakthrough in your health. One breakthrough on the heels of the other. So many breakthroughs, you will not even be able to keep up. It will all be happening at once. Every which way you turn, I see blessings manifesting in the way of breakthroughs. I see the manifestation of everything you fasted for, everything you believe God for, everything you prayed for. Blessings, 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 breakthrough after breakthrough, after breakthrough. 
it is almost like standing under a raging waterfall. Blessings and breakthroughs thunderously pouring over you in abundance. This is what Baal Perazim, the God of breakthrough, promise you. One breakthrough after another breakthrough. Finally, you are receiving your portion. And that is this day a mighty, mega financial breakthrough. Can you receive it? Can you conceive it? It's yours tonight. I'm going to pass it to Prophetess Agnes in a second. But I want to say something to you. Because I saw this every night. When she begins to give you the instruction, don't move, people of God. Don't move. Go do, follow the instruction, and come back. Don't miss. Don't miss what God's going to do. I want the fullness of everything that God is doing. This is the final night. Write it all the way out. I'm going to let her go in her own way and do it. But I'm telling you, don't miss the instruction. She has no expectation of you. I'm telling you right now. She has no expectation. Neither do I. I didn't ask anybody to sow anything. People... Seeds just coming in, coming in. People just sowing. People Likewise. still sowing right now. Just seeing it drop down in my face. I didn't ask anybody. But I'm telling you, be able to follow the instruction and come back in. Because when we begin to pray and we close out here, and we're going to share instructions on how you can find me and all of the things that I'm doing and all of that. But just stick around. I'm telling you, promise you, don't miss what God is going to do in these final moments be ready to catch what is released in these final moments i don't want to miss anything and i don't want you to miss anything and i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now whatever you do i don't care if it's one cent Go scrape somewhere and figure out how to get it in your account and get something, put something in the soil. I'm telling you right now. If one cent is not your level, don't you dare do it. Do according to your ability. That wasn't the first time I went to give a thousand dollars that I didn't have. Let me say this. One year later, I was in a service, Prophetess Agnes, with Prophetess Sophia. Mm -hmm. And I heard the Lord say, sow a thousand dollars, and I didn't have it. Mm -hmm. And I went, now this time, I had graduated. Mm -hmm. I passed that first thousand dollar test. <laughs> so I grabbed my phone to go give a thousand dollars that I didn't have the second time. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened? A spiritual daughter walked up on me in the service and said, did you check your cash app? Oh, no, she said, your PayPal. I said, why would she be bothering me in service? We're in service. Then we have the given, we have the <laughs> Like, I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, what? Please. I said, I, I looked in my email and she had sent me a thousand dollars to my PayPal to sow in the offering that night. Wow. God gives seed to the sower. So don't you jump off of here feeling bad. You ask God to give you seed to sow yes. tonight. Yes. 
and he will do it. Prophetess Agnes, take it. Ooh, wow, wow, Minister wow, to wow, the wow, people wow. of I God. Want to share. Thank you so much, woman of God. Wow. Yes, we're going to go into a time of prayer shortly, and I'm going to let, let her tell you about the event that she has going on, because I don't want anybody to miss that, because I'm not missing it either. It's going to be powerful. But uh, I just really believe that tonight is a night of wealth transfer. I want everybody to type out all capital letters, wealth transfer. Wealth transfer. Hallelujah. Somebody said they just saw themselves signing contracts. Yes. If my team can put up the links, and I want to share a quick story while we're doing this tonight. Prophet, it's so interesting. You were talking about the thousand uh, dollar seed because um, about 12 times on this broadcast tonight, people even caught it. They were like 111, 111. It'll, it'll, it'll move to different numbers and it'll just stay at 111. And it'll move to different numbers. And it's that Deuteronomy 111, the Lord increasing you a thousand times more. And you started sharing about the thousand dollar seed and what it did in your life. Hallelujah. I already see, see seeds coming in, guys. Hang on one second. People are already sending me their seeds. Hang on one second. I promise I'll give you opportunity to sow here in a second. Hallelujah. And so I want to share a dream, a quick dream that Jerry Savelle had. Uh, uh, Pastor Prophet Jerry Savelle has uh, has an anointing for prosperity. Their ministry has made several hundred millions. Their ministries, their businesses has brought in several hundred millions, touching the nation. But I want to share a quick revelation he had about this thousand, uh, for, about the wealth transfer coming to you tonight. Okay, so please pay attention. Don't just throw your money. Oh, she said something. Let me just release. I know you're excited. I'm, I'm glad you're excited. But I, I want to ride this way because, uh, yeah, I feel the power of God. I feel like there's something about to be released tonight. We're going to do a prophetic act as we, as we do this tonight. Glory to God. Jerry Savelle said he was in his living room. He was preaching at a Kenneth Copeland event. I'm going to be quick because I know you all are ready. So he was at a Kenneth Copeland event. I feel the power of God coming on me so strong right now. Somebody just, the glass ceiling is going to shatter tonight and you're going to break into your new level of wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody type out, I'm ready. Really quickly, Jared Savelle was at this meeting and he was, uh, he was, had taken a break to just take a nap in his hotel room. And so his wife is there. His wife goes into the room. He's in the living room. It's like a suite. And he said, as he sits there, prophetess, as he, he was going to take a nap and Jesus walked into the room. Jesus physically walked into the room. And Jesus said, Jerry, I want you to prepare my people for the wealth transfer that is coming. And he said that now in the natural, he could not write that much in a short time. But it, was, it seemed like it was about a five minute vision, but he had almost a book full of strategic instructions Jesus gave him to usher the people of God, the body of Christ, into a wealth transfer moment. He said after he came out of the vision, really quickly, fast forward, he told his wife, said, you need to share it with Kenneth Copeland. He said, Kenneth and I walked so close together, kind of like me and Providence Yolanda. He said, Kenneth is going to pick up that I had this vision. They're going to the meeting tonight, that night. Jerry's not supposed to preach. I need you to understand the harvest that is about to come to you. That's why I'm telling you the story tonight. Hallelujah. And so immediately Jerry walked into the building, the, 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 the church. Sorry, guys. I'm so overcome by the presence of God. Kenneth Copeland is holding the pulpit. It's 111 again. You see that? It's 111 again. Kenneth Copeland holds the pulpit. He's about to preach. And he said, let's open our Bibles too. And he can't move. Power of God starts filling him. He says again. Let's open our Bibles to, he can't move. He's overcome by the presence of God. And he looks over at Jerry. He said, brother Jerry, Jesus visited you this afternoon. Come up and tell us what he told you. They had not talked. He came up and Jerry said that that day that all nine sections of their ministry, all nine departments of their business needed breakthrough. He said, after he shared the encounter, he said he wrote 10 checks. He said, now you might tell me that if you have $10,000, you don't have a problem. You know, you don't have a financial problem. He said, no, but you have to understand, I was wanting to break into the million dollar level. So after I'm shaking all over the power of God, Jerry Savell wrote nine checks out of the nine departments of the ministry that night after he shared the encounter to Kenneth Copeland Ministry, $1,000 from each department. And then he and his wife personally sold $1,000. 
About a week later, he's at a Kenneth Hagin meeting. And Pastor, and I'm almost done, guys. Hang with me. Kenneth Hagin says, I'm about to sow the biggest seed I've ever sown. I think it was a $4.5 million airplane. He said, Jerry, stand up. The Lord just told me to give you my airplane. Jerry Savelle said shortly after that, somebody walks up to him and they give him a $100,000 check. Shortly after that, a businessman just stayed at 111. Shortly after that, a businessman walks up to him and they write him a million dollar check. Glory to God. So tonight, I want you to ask the Holy Spirit. We are going to pray a prayer of a harvest over you. It stayed at 111. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to speak to some of you. I know a number of you have already set in the thousand dollar seat. But if the Lord, I have, I, the Lord spoke to me about doing a thousand each night. <laughs> because I know where I want to go. I want to be a millionaire by the end of this year. Glory to God. So if you are wanting to break past the barrier, I keep seeing that somebody, the Lord is going to place on your heart to sow $10,000. Now, you might say, where are we sowing it into? Family of God, we as a ministry, first of all, we were blessing our speakers that have come to pour into us. And then we as a ministry, we are reaching to thousands of ministries across the globe. We are partnering with people and ministries in the darkest parts of the world. In fact, yesterday after the broadcast prophetess, I added two more ministries in Africa. I could call the nations, but I don't want y'all to know who I'm talking about. I added two more ministries that were ministering in some of the darkest parts of Africa and we're sending them out seeds because some, sometimes they can't access this because they are in the dark. Some of them don't even have internet and we are reaching them and we are literally rescuing people out of, the, out of death. So not only are you accessing harvest, but you are, yeah. you are partnering with us to give life. Glory to God. Yeah, it, it stayed, you all notice it stayed at 111. Do you think that's natural? <laughs> it's not natural. So for some of you tonight, in fact, one of the one of the stories that touched me the most, there was a woman that we just blessed recently. We took her to the hospital. She was pregnant, and she she and her baby were dying because of an infection, and we saved her life. So that's what your seed is doing. Glory to God. And of course, we're doing a lot of building and structuring and all of that to the ministry. So I want you to today. I want you to go ahead and just ask Holy Spirit. Okay. Jesus. Prophet X talked about the fact that Isaac, it's supernatural, Andrew. I believe that Andrew has so blessed us. Andrew, I just speak a billion fold over you in Jesus. The DLC has gone back to 111. Some of you, the Lord is going to speak to about so many thousand. It's not necessarily everybody. But if you want to break into, when I did the thousand dollars, see, Prophet X talked about how sacrificial it was. For me, I actually shed tears. I actually shared tears because I didn't, I didn't really even have, I think I just had just about that and maybe five dollars for groceries. But I was tired of living at a certain level. And, uh, and some of you are saying, God, I thank you for what you've done, but I know that I've, I've outgrown where I am. I want you to take that stretch tonight and allow the Lord to speak to you. Some of you, the Lord, okay, all right, he said he's waiting for the go. All right, go. Y'all go ahead and start sewing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you. They don't let you. They forget they seeds in the ground. They like. Let I know. They, some of them disobey my instructions. They already saw it. But it's okay. Go ahead and start sending in your seeds. And as you send in your seed, it's such a holy act of worship to the Lord. He is so deserving. We really yes. cannot pay him for what he has done. But I want you to know you cannot outgive God. I, I literally, I contacted my spiritual father today, just practically in tears. And I was telling him how much God is blessing what we're doing. And he, he always reminds me, Agnes, you remember when you, I called him crying to sow some of those seeds that were very, very sacrificial. David was about to break a siege in a nation and he said, I will not give to the Lord that which cost me nothing. So make sure you do a sacrificial seed. Now everybody you can go ahead and sow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you are going to sow 111. Make sure you sow something that yes. costs you something. Glory yes. to God. And sow name your seed. That cost you something. Name those seeds. And I'm just going to begin to pray right now. Wow, Cynthia, I, I'm sorry, guys. I, 
<laughs> I just saw that thousand dollars coming. Cynthia, I speak a billion fold blessing over you. Some of them I can't see them. I have to go check the PayPal. But literally, the way the, my cash app is set up, for some reason, it comes on the broadcast when it's set. Kenya, thank you for that hundred dollars. I don't always call everybody's name. Andrew's black sword. I, I'm sorry, Andrew. I hope that don't yeah. make you feel uncomfortable. But he sold sacrificially yeah. every night. As you begin to sow tonight sacrificially, I want you to begin. Somebody say, can I start and work out? Of course, but stay to receive the prayer. I would yeah. rather you just strike when the iron is hot. If you can, you can jump right and jump right back in. Yes. Um, that's what most people do. Hallelujah. Rabat shaka rebo seke. I know you all are stretching tonight, so I want to just begin to pray. And uh, as you saw, I want you to begin to pray. We're going to pray over our seed. Cynthia just sold her crops over seed. I declare a billion dollar fold over you, Cynthia. In the name, I see the seed coming into Rika. Glory to God. We declare a billion dollar fold harvest over you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prophetess, I saw the thousand dollars last night. I'm going to do it again. I've done it every single night. The Lord has instructed me to do that. And what happened was, woman of God, last night at about 2.30 a.m., the Lord gave me a business idea. Now, I'm launching it next year. It's going to take me to a million dollars. The idea that took me to six figures, now almost multiple figures, six figures, the Lord gave me after a thousand dollar seed. After I sold that thousand dollar seed last night, he woke me up at 2.30 a.m. and talked to me for two hours. Norma, God bless you. I see the seed coming in. And he gave me a million dollar idea. And I called my special someone. <laughs> and I said, God just gave me. I feel the power of God. God just gave me a million dollar idea. I feel the anointing for millions tonight. Oh my God. You know, this is incredible, Prophet Agnes. I see people, I know they're so Give me a heads up emoji. If you believe that you are, in fact, I just feel like God is saying, stand up. Stand up yes, and come take on. a step forward. Come on. After you sow your seed, I want you to stand up and I want you to take a step forward. Andrew, I just want to pray. Andrew has so blessed our uh -huh. ministry. He yes. just sent another, he just sent thousand dollars. Let me just be yeah. I'll just tell you what we just got. Loco Rabasha. I'm sorry, guys. I don't always say, you know, God sees has always it's so many coming. I can't call every name, but the specific one, all of them are moving my heart. But Andrew showed up every night and he's putting he's putting significantly every night. Jesus. And he just sent a thousand. Jesus. And I just want to declare, let me do this, guys. I'm going to pray Jesus. over everybody in a second. But I see Jesus. a number of people, so thousand dollars seeds. And uh, I just want to pray a blessing. Um, as a ministry, we are in the middle of a lot, a lot that we are doing. And, uh, and we really, like I was telling you earlier, we stepped out in faith. So thank you for believing in the voices that we bring. And thank you for believing in our voice. And so I just want to pray, first of all, for those who are sowing the thousand dollars seed. It's really moving my heart tonight. I just want to declare that not that, first of all, um, I sense that some of you sold that thousand dollars and you're saying not only in your business, but their family situations, you're needing God to move. Somebody sent that thousand dollars and your marriage is on the brink of divorce. And you're saying, God, I'm sending this on behalf of my marriage. And you're saying, God, I don't want to go through the force. And I just release the rest of it, the restored power of God. I hear the spirit of God say, and I want to, I'm speaking this blessing first over those who are sowing the thousand dollars. I hear the spirit of God say that I will rebuke tonight. I arise to rebuke the devourer for your sake. Tonight I arise to rebuke the devourer for your sake. In the name of Jesus. 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 I declare a billion fold harvest. Who I can barely get this that power of God is overwhelming me. Such a sweet presence. 
Now, everybody that have so tonight and are continuing to say, give me a hands up emoji. I want to pray over you. And I'm going to keep it to a longer Jesus. because I want everybody to sign up for Frogness event. But everybody give me a hands up emoji. I want, I want you to pray. I want to pray over you right now. Prophetess, I keep seeing this. I want to, but I know you've poured out so much tonight. But I keep seeing, and I know you've even spoken blessings. But I want you to just speak a blessing, if you don't mind, over those yes. who are sowing tonight. Yes, to yes, God. yes, yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, Father, for every person, every person, Father, on this broadcast, every person that reached deep, Father, just to follow your instructions tonight, that as you spoke to their hearts and as they moved, Father, there are even that did double, because I saw... They're so into you. They're so into me. I mean, it's, it's, I, it's, it's just crazy what I see happening that's coming down on the screen. So, and I know they put seed in, your, in the ground over there and putting seed in the ground over here. And Father, I just pronounced that double, double yes. that you spoke of. Yes. Father, that this is the year. This is the time that they break through. Yes. Father, that you're moved that as they have sown, they have decided that not another day will it be like this. That some people have made a decision that they're going to step into the land of promise that you have given them. Father, I just pray tonight that your breath, that your wind would blow on every single seed tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, go above and beyond what they could even imagine. Yes, Lord. Father, I ask you tonight, Jesus. Father, I ask you for immediate returns to come yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. That by this time tomorrow, Jesus. by this time tomorrow, yes, they will testify. Yes, by this time tomorrow, Jesus. their status will change. By this time tomorrow, wow. you will not just replenish, but Father, you will give overflow in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father, every every seed yes. respond to my name. And if you did not name your seed, I want you to take a second now and yes. give your seed a specific yes. name. I sent the seed and I looked for that little box that says, what do, what, what do you, I, I named it very specifically. Yes. Father, respond to the name of every seed specifically. Speedily, suddenly, as according to Amos 9 and 13, God move now in the name of Jesus. Move now in the name of Jesus. Every sacrificial seed, Father. Oh God, breathe upon it now. Let the Ruach of God breathe upon every sacrificial seed now in the name of Jesus. Let this seed be an activator even of seeds of old. Wow. Begin to bring the harvest through for seeds of old. Jesus. As a result, let these seeds be the unlocker tonight oh, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Unlock ideas because of these seeds, Father. Unlock Unlock business opportunities. I see bank approvals being unlocked because of these seeds in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus.
I see cars being released. I see houses being released. I just saw a womb open up. Somebody's believing God for a baby wow. and had a barren womb. I see a womb being opened up now because of a seed. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I hear the phone ringing. I hear a phone ringing and I see somebody's somebody's son that they haven't been in touch with for years calling unlocked because of a seed. Father, I thank you tonight. I speak bountiful blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon every seed and father even those who sowed seeds make them good soil that others will begin to sow seeds into them in the name of Jesus. Make them good soil that others will begin to sow into them in the name of Jesus. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Can we just take a moment and just worship the Lord? His presence is so strong. Just begin to thank him in anticipation and progress is going to, we're going to, Gary, you should share a link in a second, but uh, I just feel such, such a sweet presence of God. Can we just take a moment? And I just want to say thank you. Thank you all. I saw your seeds come in, Trisha, and I mean, just about everybody. I, I mean, a lot of people yes. are half so and are still so. Thank you all a billion for. Let's just begin to worship the Lord and say, God, I thank you for and tell him the name of thank you for my thank you for the arrival of my babies i thank you for the arrival of my spouse somebody the name is gonna is gonna remain confidential send a seed before the event for their royal wedding so thank you god for those we don't know who that is we don't know i don't know who that was she was the first one to send like a huge seed i was like wait i'm supposed to be blessing you and we're gonna bless her but she blessed us first <laughs> thank you jesus for all you have done to me we are so grateful everybody type out all capital letter shift shift i believe that you all have shifted tonight glory to god really quickly we just have a couple of announcements and then we're going to pray and bless you prophetess please tell them every single person needs to do this uh if my team can go ahead and or your team uh, yes. send, uh share the links and yes. uh so we can follow your event and register yes. immediately yes go ahead and share the link i have an event coming up listen for every person all 100 plus of you here tonight listen God has spoken about this year that this is the year of the double double and this is the year of the big ask. And God has given me a powerful one night only. It is a free event, one night only called Deluge, unlocking and unleashing the double double. This is only the beginning of what God's getting ready to do in 22, 2022 that you're seeing happening here. But this Deluge, unlocking and unleashing the double double is an event that you must be a part of register for it even if you have to catch the replay register yes. for it i am yes. also going to give away a free ebook with the declarations and decrees that i am going to be pronouncing over you during yes. that particular event so go ahead and get registered for it i don't know if they've shared it yet or not uh my team yes. Has shared it I yet or sometimes not? Sometimes there's a little lag in the comments. Yeah, there's a they, little they, bit they of a lag, it. but it's oh. you know double double dot eventbrite dot com double double okay, dot eventbrite right dot com. It's going to be coming here up on the screen in just a moment. But double double dot eventbrite dot com. Go ahead and register now. Over two hundred people have already registered in under forty eight hours. 
over 200 people already registered. And I have a powerful, I'll go ahead and tell y'all as an insider, God gave me something. I have some powerful voices, I'll announce those later, that are going to come in in the middle of the event and is going to do what I'm calling flash floods. They're going to come and prophesy over you for five minutes each during that event. You want to make sure you get registered for deluge, unlocking and unleashing the double-double. That's going to be powerful. The other thing, I want to make sure you all are following me on YouTube. God has really yes. been pouring out all month long. I'm going to be ministering live still the rest of the month. So make sure you go ahead and follow Yolanda Worldwide on YouTube as well. I'm sure that I'm not sure what the lag is happening with that. Um, I know I just that. shared the event link. I just shared the double double. I wanna, the yes. eventbrite.com. I just posted it myself just from where you got where you shared it just now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Double double sure. eventbrite.com, right? Yes, 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 awesome. yes. And I just shared yes. uh, shared one with all of the links in there as well okay. so i'm telling you right now it's going to be powerful so i'm looking forward to every single one of you being there with us i just want to pour out to the people of god this year and see people step into the fullness of what god has called them to so thank you so much for allowing me to invite them to be a part of people are already registering so they're definitely getting the link so do that follow on youtube lots of amazing things that are happening yes. or coming up and you haven't seen the last of prophetess agnes and myself god has already shown us doing a lot of ministry this year together so get ready for the more yes 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 thank you so much prophetess really quickly guys one more quick announcement then we're going to bless you bless you and let you go uh we have a y'all a lot of you have already signed up for it but prophetess yolanda and i have you all enjoyed this so far uh we're about to crank it up at the master class we have a master class on february 4th hallelujah it's and a, uh, a, and, a, uh huh it's a, no it's the next friday yes the following friday so that's february 4th right no it's the next the week after Oh, well, thank you for reminding me. Okay, well, I have to post it in the group. Uh oh, yeah, we, have to change it. we have a master class coming up that next Friday. And my team is going to go ahead and share the link here. Um, the, the, I made the price of a master class really cheap because um, I want to. Um, I want to go ahead and bless the people of God. It's going to be an intimate time on Zoom. Zoom. Sorry, guys, you're talking a lot all night for the past three days, really. Um, it's got to be a real intimate time on Zoom. Well, we're now here. We pray, we prophesy, we minister to you. And I know you've been shifted. But how many of you know that the word of God says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Sometimes you just need the know-how. You know, if you're standing in front of a door, no matter how anointed you, may, you might be, you literally have to take the key and put it in that door and unlock it. It's so interesting. A woman of God contacted me from Trinidad today. She said, I see keys. I see the Lord just handing you these keys. Glory to God. And so we want to give you power tools. Um, oh, that's awesome, Michael. We want to give you power tools. So anyway, I'm not going to stay on it for too long. If you have not, excuse me, if you have not registered for the master class, go ahead and register for the master class. My team just shared, uh, shared the link. Um, everybody that attends the master class gets my brand new ebook, Power Declarations to Unlock Your Billion Dollar Flow. Uh, it's going to be a book that I will sell later on, but you're going to get it for free. Hallelujah. So just give me a ha hands up emoji. I want to just bless you. Uh, thank you so much, Prophetess, uh, for the time uh, that you have poured into us. Everybody just say thank you to her for just her labor of love hallelujah and uh we are just so grateful and uh, we honor you and we love you i just want to go ahead and uh and bless you all as we go tonight hallelujah make sure you register for the master class so we can continue this conversation i believe the lord spoke to me that multi-billionaires are going to arise this year and so i believe that you are one of them so right now i just pro pronounce and prophesy over you just a powerful open heaven hallelujah in the name of jesus may god pour you out in the in the realm of the overflow blessings exceedingly blessings abundantly blessings above all that you can ask or think in the mighty name of jesus 
in the mighty name. And I just feel to pray protection over you. Uh, over you. There's been so much going on in the world. I want to pray protection over your family. Okay, somebody said they just registered for the masterclass. Congratulations. Hallelujah. I pray protection over your loved ones. I pray protection over your families in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not hear a negative report in Jesus' name. I pray for long life. Have you all been seeing just things going on lately? I just want to bless us. Hallelujah. And declare that you will not have to, uh, that none of uh, our loved ones, none of your loved ones will die prematurely in the name of Jesus. I pray the word of the Lord says, the blessing of the Lord, it make it rich and addeth no sorrow with it. That means you're not going to be celebrating just financial increase and everything else in your life is falling apart. No. When you come into covenant with the anointing to prosper, that word is shalom. It means nothing missing, nothing broken. I declare the blessing of the Lord over your marriage. I declare the blessing of the Lord over your children. I declare the blessing of the Lord over your businesses. I declare the blessing of the Lord over your ministries. I declare the blessing of the Lord over our loved ones in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are blessed going in. I prophesy you are blessed go coming in. You are blessed going out in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare, come on, just lift up your hands if you can, wherever you are. Some of you are going to begin to feel heat in your hands right now. I loose the anointing to get well. One time I released this blessing oh, just on a broadcast like this. And the lady's husband caught it uh, and, and, and got a $1.6 million contract within the next week. I declare the 24 hour miracle. I've declared that over people. And we had um, we had people get houses in 24 hours. We've had that happen two times where we declared 24 hour miracle. Uh, one of our coaching families watching tonight, I bless them every time in the coaching group. And somebody gave, gave her, you heard me right, gave her a house for free. You heard me right. Somebody gave her a house for free. Yes, yes, yes. And it's not, a, it's not some shack, uh, is that what they call them, somewhere? No, it's a beautiful home for free. And so I pronounce the blessing, the anointing for wealth, the anointing to prosper, the anointing for peace, the anointing I pronounce over your body. I speak strengthening in your bodies. I pray for excellent health in the name of Jesus. I declare that it shall be a, a year of joy. I declare that it shall be a year. Somebody just registered for the, for the master class. God bless you. I declare it shall be a year of unprecedented unprecedented favor, unprecedented finance, unprecedented increase, and that your breakthrough shall be expedited and released to you suddenly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I don't want this to end, so make sure you join the master class because we're going to be actually giving you the steps to get into uh, the million dollar flow, the billion dollar flow in that class in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, woman of God. I love you. I love you all so much. If you have not liked this page, make sure you like and follow this page as well. Turn on your notifications. All right, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> love you, my sister. God bless you. you. I'll, I'll call you right now. <laughs> all right, love you all. We'll talk to you soon. God bless y'all. Good night, everybody. Oh, I love y'all. Oh, somebody said, what is the master class? Sorry. It's on February. I think we decided February 10th. <laughs> Sorry. People are still trying to sign up for stuff. That's wonderful. We like it. It's on the 10th. And if you have any other questions, email my team at help at agnesibelli.com, and we will be glad to respond to you. I love you all. All right. Good night this time. <laughs> God bless you.